Hey guys, welcome to the Where Are They Now series, where we interview former Hillcrest students to find out where are they now. Today's guest is very familiar to some of you. Let's have a listen. Over to you, Tamika. Give us your full name and what year you graduated from Hillcrest. My name is Melissa Begg and I graduated in 2008. All right, and what do you do now? I am the primary chaplain at Hillcrest. Yay. And what have you done since leaving Hillcrest? Well, I've actually done a whole range of things. So when I left at the end of year 12, I actually had a course set up to do outdoor ed and PE, but yeah. then I really wanted to go overseas. So I actually ended up moving to America and living in America. Yeah, know. which was really weird. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Orange County, California, Mission Viejo. Oh no, another Californian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then I came back and I didn't go into the course and I went into retail, which I really love. I love retail. If I wasn't doing chaplaincy, I'd be doing retail. I just find it lots of fun. Do you have any funny stories or funny memories about any of the teachers who are still at Hillcrest? Definitely, probably Mr. Smith, I'd have a few memories with him. Because I think there was like only four girls in outdoor ed when I did outdoor ed and the rest were boys. And then sometimes they wouldn't come on like our hikes and things and outdoor ed hikes. So the boys or the just girls? Like, the girls. So it'd just be like me and all the boys on outdoor ed camps. It was <laughs> hilarious. Uh, but I remember this one time we were hiking and um, yeah, we were we were up in this like we were hiking and then it started snowing and then we were <laughs> so cold. I remember being so cold in my life. But yeah, he, he was lots of fun with, with that. Yeah, it was good. Did you ever get in trouble? And if so, what did you do? Like another reason why I'm probably so surprised I got the job at Hillcrest is Mr. Grace was actually the head of secondary when I was in year 11 and 12. He was like the head then. And um, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I was a pain in the bum. Like I look back now and be like, oh, those teachers, bless them. <laughs> How did they get through my schooling years? But uh, yeah, Mr. Gray suspended me an in-school suspension for three days. Um, they, I remember Tamika and Jason were like, what did you do it for? And I, it could have been a number of things. Like I would laugh all the time in class and like I was really boisterous and outgoing, but then I'd never wear my school uniform. So how you guys have to get changed now, Lord, I don't have to get changed when I was there. We never had that. We just had to wear it on the appropriate days. And I just wore it pretty much every day. And I was like, mom, just write me a note. Mom, write me a note. And like, yeah, I got in trouble. I even got an award at the end of the year for like the person that wore the sports uniform the most throughout the year. <laughs> Do you have a favorite or fond memory from your time at Hillcrest? I would say it was our year 12 um, end of year. We all dressed up and I came as a Power Ranger. It was really cool. I could fit into a kid's costume back then. Like, I probably still could if you I still tried. Can. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty small. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and yeah, I came as a Power Ranger and then we all had like red, silver or white cars. Like it was crazy, like our whole year level, like no one got any other colored car. And um, yeah, we went up into the bush and we went and did um, like paintballing and laser tag and stuff like that. And it was, it was just really cool because it was the first time you think through the year you're all not friends, but in that moment you actually all like it's a special moment. So you all are just enjoying and having fun in that special moment. And thank you. Just to close up, do you have any advice or a favorite Bible verse that you'd like to share with the current students at Hillcrest? I don't know. I guess my advice would be, you know, school's great and school is super important. Don't get me wrong. But it's not the be all and end all. Um, you know, life after school, like you're gonna fail at stuff, you're gonna try stuff and not wanna do it again. Or like, you're gonna think, oh yeah, this is it. And then you get into it and you're like, oh nah, man, I'm not doing this. Like, this is like the worst job ever. Um, but truly, you know, make sure you find something that you love. And um, yeah, just keep, keep your eyes on God really, because he will direct you. Like, as I said, I never thought I'd be a chaplain in a school uh, so you just never know where he's going to take you thank you mel thank you <laughs> bye